Okay, here's how to import the Mind Manager file into MindMeister, which is a free mind mapping software that's on the web. So just go to MindMeister.com and then create a free account. They have paid accounts, but you don't really need that unless you want to. So just create a free one if all you're looking to do is open up the mind map file. So once you're signed up, you'll come into your dashboard here and you just want to go over to import and click that. In here, you'll click browse. Now all you have to do is find wherever you save the ultimate sales and marketing mind map file and click that. So in my case, it's in my desktop. So if I double click it, I will select that and then come down here to import and click that button. Now, since this file is a pretty big mind map, it may take a little bit. So uh, just give it a couple seconds, maybe a minute to import, and then you'll be ready to go. Okay, I just edited the video while it was uploading. It took probably about 30 to 40 seconds, so not too long. Okay, once you import it, it'll show up in your dashboard here. So if you just click on it, it will load up here after a couple seconds, and you'll be able to use it. So here, here we go. They're just asking me to upgrade, so you can just click maybe later. But here it is. Obviously, it doesn't have all the uh, colors like it does in the mind map file. But if you want, you can add stuff like that. For instance, here, uh, I'm not too used to this program, but I know you can just come over here and uh, like this one is changing a font color, but you can change the style of the box right here by doing this. See right there, it adds color. So if you want to customize these, you just click on one of them and go into customize and then change things here, the font size, whether you want to bold, italic, things like that, the color and whatever you want to do. You obviously don't have to do that. That's just if you want to add some color to the map. And if you want to hide this toolbar over here, just come down, hit that button there, and it slides out of the way. So here, if you want to just scroll around, just click your mouse button and hold it down, and then just move it, which is what I'm doing here. But it just works like it would in the MindJet software. You just click on the plus and minus signs, and it opens up the topics. And again, you just click where it's plus and minus, and you will get more information. So that's how you do it in MindMeister. I'm going to hop on over to XMind and show you how to do it in that too. If you go to, I believe, just XMind.com, yes, oh, XMind.net. In this case, I'm on the download page, so slash download, and I have a Windows. So you would just agree to license here. And actually, if you don't want to, you don't have, you can just put a fake email in, which is what I did. Um, it doesn't really matter unless you want updates and things like that. You'll hit the download button, download it to your computer, and then once you do that, this is the screen you'll be at when you open it up. So you just come up to File, Import, click on the MindJet Mind Manager, then click on the Next button. You want to find the file on your computer, double click it, come down to Finish, and after a couple seconds, it will import the file. All right, again, I edited the video to save time. It probably took about 30, again, same as the last one, about 30, 40 seconds to import. So once you do that, this is what it's going to look like. This you can see actually has some color to it, just like the original file. To move around in this map, you want to click the right button on your mouse, and you'll see it changed to a hand instead of the pointer. So right now I just click the right button, and I'm dragging the mouse around. Just to quick show you, obviously it's just like the other ones. You click on the plus and minus signs, and the topics expand. And if you hit the minus, you'll see it gets smaller. Again, just like any other mind map program, they're all pretty similar here. So that's how you import in XMind and MindMeister. There are some other mind mapping software programs out there. There's one called, I believe it's FreeMind, which I tried on. I didn't really like that. Um, so if you want to just stick with these two, I think you'll be good to go. And again, don't forget, Mind Manager offers a 30-day free trial of the MindJet software, which is what I personally use and which, in my opinion, is the easiest and nicest program to use. The unfortunate part is it's, um, I think it's about $300, but again, you can get a 30, 30 day free trial. And even if you don't buy it after the 30 days, you can still open up the mind map and view it. You just can't make edits to it. So there you go. If you want to use one of the free ones, or if you want to download MindJet, the 30 day free trial, you're good to go.